Hello, hello. Welcome to Screencast 3. Is it 3? I think it's 3. On the Mix and Flow of Matter unit. This one, we take a look at concentration and solubility. And how can we measure it and what does it mean? Okay, so let's start with some very uh, uh, important terms you need to know. Before we can talk about anything about concentration, we need to know uh, what we're looking at when it comes to solutions. Okay, and a solution is always made up of more than two main parts, two or more. As a solute, something that's being dissolved, like salt, Kool-Aid, sugar, and the solvent, the substance that does the dissolving, such as water. Now, most of the time, whatever you're going to be dissolving, it's dissolved in water. Now, some of you might say, what about coffee? What about tea? Well, you're dissolving the tea and the coffee and the water first. Right? Water gets a unique name called the universal solvent. Why do you think that is? Well, if you said because it dissolves everything, you'd be correct. Okay, Universal solvent meaning that water can almost dissolve everything that we throw at it. So some examples of solute and solvent. Okay, In tea, the solute would be tea leaves. Yeah, solvent, water. Ocean water, solute would be salt. Solvent would be water. Pepsi Cola, Coke, Mountain Dew, whatever you'd like. Solute would be, there's a bunch in there. Okay, there's carbon dioxide, there's sugars, there's flavoring, there's coloring. So pick one. Yeah, there's lots. Solvent would be water. Okay, so you get an example, you get a, an idea of what solute and solvent are. Okay, now when you start to dissolve something, like a, a sugar into a coffee, you start to get something called a solution. And we can measure the amount of solute in any solvent by calculating the concentration of the solution. Concentration is defined as the amount of substance, solute, the amount of solute, dissolved in a given amount of liquid or solvent. Okay? And we write concentration like this, 17 grams of solute in 50 mils of solvent. Now, if we were to compare two solutions, let's say these two, 12 grams per 50 mils of solute and 17 grams per 100 mils of solute, or 17 grams of solute per 100 mils of solvent, which one is more concentrated? We can't really tell right now because we don't, we need to compare both of these in the same volume, the same given volume of solvent. So the first thing we actually need to do is we need to con do some converting here. And we like to, for our sakes, pick 100 mils. 100 mils is easy. Just, it's easy to pick for a number. Uh, it's nice and round. Lots divide into it. Uh, well, not lots. Anyways, <laughs> uh, if we look at the first um, a concentration, 12 grams of solute per 50 mils of solvent. If we need to change that to be out of 100 mils of solvent, we multiply it by 2. And it has to be multiplied by 2 on the uh, solute side as well. So then we get our 24 grams per 100 mils. The bottom one doesn't have to be changed. It's already per 100 mils. So if we now look at our original uh, question, noting that one of them has a significant amount of solute dissolved versus solvent, we can now say that this one, the first one, has more solute dissolved in solvent, therefore it has a higher concentration. And that's it, higher concentration. Uh, here's an example that we could go through. And I'm going to challenge you right now to pause the screencast and to see if you can figure out which one uh, it actually is. Okay, let's take a look. Let's do the quick calculations. Follow along.
if you got letter A as the one, you got it right. Awesome. Now, think of the last time you made juice or coffee. How much sugar did you add to the Kool-Aid? How much sugar did you add to the coffee? What happens if you keep adding sugar, a solute, to coffee, uh, the, the solution? Okay, well, there's two things that can happen. If you keep adding sugar and it keeps dissolving, that means that you have an unsaturated solution. Okay, More solute can be dissolved. Unsaturated solutions can hold more solute, but only to a point. Okay, Unsaturated, you can, keep, you can add some more. When you get to keep adding sugar, eventually no more solute will dissolve, and this is what we call a saturated solution. A saturated solution is where no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent because it can't hold anymore. The point at which no more solute can be added, we say that that's the saturation point. And the only thing that can change a saturation point is usually by changing the temperature. You can add more water or more solvent. Let's say you know a bigger pot of coffee will dissolve more sugar. You can certainly do that, but changing the temperature is the most common way. All of this, the unsaturated solution, the saturated solution, concentration, saturation point, that's all referred to as solubility. And the very technical, very scientific term is this. Solubility is the maximum amount of solute that you can add to a fixed amount of solvent at a given temperature. So it's how much sugar can you add to a specific amount of water at a specific temperature. Okay, that's, that's solubility. So that's concentration and solubility in a nutshell. I would encourage you to make sure that you're able to do those calculations for calculating concentration, because those for sure are something that you're going to be asked to uh, bring back and recall. Okay. Any questions, as always, you can ask in class. Toodaloo.